put that in bed. What's up, guys? It is third, actually Friday. It's already Friday. I'm out mowing today. I have, I don't even know how many, like five, six maybe to cut today. And I have lunch with a client at, well, I think noon, something like that. So I gotta take a break in between and then go back. All right, YouTube, well, my first property of the day. It's almost 10 o'clock. This is the property of the tenants that are a pain in the ass and generally have something to say, and then the landowner has to tell them they're being ridiculous as usual. So, let's see about this. So, I've cut this property every Friday for the last, well, since the season started. And the tenants contact the landowner like, can you make sure that they let us know when they're coming beforehand so we can get our shit out of the yard? I told the landowner I've come Friday between 8 and 12 for the last 20 cuts. Tell them that, and that's when I'll be cutting. So I don't need to give you 24 hours notice because it's going to be the same every week. <laughs> I was supposed to be mowing way back. I just, no, oh, I totally missed three properties that I was supposed to stop at before I get back in my neighborhood. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. At least two of them are right outside my neighborhood, so I'm gonna do them first. But man, I can't believe I did that. It's kind of ridiculous.
finish up with these two properties. I'll see you at the next one in about an hour. Or, more like two or three hours. Alright guys, I'm back. It's at lunch a while. I'm at the property I did mm, Tuesday? Yeah, we'll call it Tuesday. I don't even remember what day it was. Yeah. I'm going to mow this one. And that's about it. Alright, just finished up that property. So it's official. I'm working for another company tomorrow, Saturday. Kind of pissed. I got to be at the property at 7 a.m. And it's not even for my company. That's awful early on a Saturday morning. But trimming bushes. I'm either trimming or raking. Cleaning up the stuff. Asked what I wanted to do, I didn't really care. I'm not the greatest at trimming. I would prefer to trim, but I'm not the greatest at it. That's why I didn't volunteer to do either. It's whatever he wants me to do, I'll do. Um, but the whole reason I'm doing it, not for the money, I mean, he's paying me pretty good, like 20 bucks an hour, just to help him out. It's not bad for an employee. But the whole reason I'm doing it is because I want to see how other people run their ship. I want to see the way other people how they work together, how they do this, how they do that. Pick up tips from people who have done it a lot longer than you or me. It's interesting to work with another company, see how that company handles stuff, how that company does things, their policies, and you can establish some of their policies in your own company, like stuff you never thought of. That's basically the whole reason I'm gonna do it. That, and it's a good friend of mine, and I guess he's in a pinch and needs some so I'm going to help him out there. I'm really starting to like this last client I was at. Every week she leaves me a bottle of water out where it gives me one. And it's always ice cold water. So I appreciate that client. It's a good client. Alright, what's up guys? It's the end of this video pretty much. Um, so tomorrow, big news, the truck may be getting lettering. I don't know if he printed them off. But say goodbye to this DPF filter. It is gone tomorrow. Full DPF delete, EGR delete, and hopefully lettering. I mentioned that. I don't know if he actually did it or not. I hope he did. So that's tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, I'm working for a friend's company. We're trimming bushes and cleaning up garden beds and whatnot. I don't know. He asked if I wanted to trim or if I wanted to clean up. I said I'll do whatever. I'd prefer to trim, but I'm not the greatest at trimming, so I'm not going to be like, oh, I have to trim. But I'll do whatever he wants me to do. Give him my hand. Good karma. Help him out and he'll help me out. And plus he gets to learn some stuff off other people. But yeah, I'm super excited. I did a cold start. Wow. I did a start on this truck with the camera right by the exhaust tips earlier today. So you'll be able to tell the difference between the delete and the stock. So I imagine it's going to be a lot louder at the tips. just my educated guess and look at the road here all that dye that's all dye from running out of the bed of this truck and over here is all mud from running out of the bed of the truck but the whole road for like 30 50 feet is stained and it's a big diesel standing beneath it not from that truck from a gas can